What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com. Now when working in Adobe Illustrator, there's tons of effects and tools and presets that you can use. But today I want to show you guys a pretty cool trick, and that is something that I think is underutilized and maybe a lot of people miss, and that's dealing with Illustrator's built-in 3D capabilities. So today I want to show you how you can go about creating your own custom patterns and swatches, and then applying it to 3D shapes to make your design stand out. Alright guys, so today I want to show you a cool trick uh, in Adobe Illustrator using some of the built-in 3D tools. Now um, the way this is going to work is I'm just going to create uh, a couple of things you know, similar to this, a couple of swatches and just kind of grids of, of bands and different size and uh, different patterns and things like that. Um, but basically you know, it doesn't really matter what size document you're starting with, you just want to have a little bit of room to work. Um, and create some interesting shapes or you know patterns uh, kind of like what I have on the left here I just want to create a few more variations of of that uh, to demonstrate for you guys so bear with me I'm just gonna come in here and make a few you know random shapes um, kind of in, in you know a horizontal uh, type of format here and then once we have few different things that we can work with I can show you guys the cool part which is basically um, you know going to be how to create a 3d uh, sphere in Illustrator with a pattern uh, wrapped around it okay so all that I'm doing here is just kind of a uh, actually like the way that looks all that I'm doing here is just kind of creating a couple of these that I can work with so that you guys will, will see how this works, okay? So let's say I want to make this a little bit thinner. Create it here. You can do this with, you know, triangles or uh, diamonds like I have here, circles. Pretty much anything will, will work for this. You just want to make something that looks interesting, you know, and it has enough uh, variation in it to create an interesting shape. So let's work with this, all right? What I'm going to do is basically select my first uh, group of shapes here and drag it over to the symbols panel and just say graphic you don't have to name it or anything if you don't want but just save it as a graphic and then do the same thing for the second shape save that as a graphic as well you may have to change it to two just so that it doesn't overwrite uh, what we have but now I'm just gonna move that off to the side if I go ahead and press L on the keyboard and then hold down the shift key and drag out a circle um, that will constrain the proportion. So what I want to do now is kind of split this circle in half. So I'm just drawing a rectangle on top of it and using my smart guides to determine where the center of the circle is. And you'll see where those like little green lines come in and it says intersect. That means I'm right in the middle. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of those. And then with my pathfinder selected, choose the second option to, uh, sub I think it's subtract from front, minus front, like that. All right, and then I'm just going to change this to like a gray color for now, just so I can see what see what's going on. So, before I move ahead, I'm just going to create another copy of this, maybe two more copies actually, just to be on the safe side, so that I have a couple more of these to work with. But from here, all you're going to do is come up to Effect 3D and then choose Revolve. Now, as soon as I click this Preview option, you'll see that I've created a sphere, and you know it's a little hard to tell at first because there's really only you know that one kind of specular highlight on it but the fun part is when we come in here to map art now there's an option up top that says symbol and currently it's set to none but if I click that menu you'll see that I can now access both of these symbols that I created before and you know the problem is that we want it to wrap all the way around and currently it's only covering a portion maybe about half of our sphere so to fix that all we have to do is click this scale to fit option and then I'm going to hit OK. And now you can kind of like rotate this around and see the sphere from different angles and things like that. So this is kind of a cool way to, you know, to play around with some of the 3D options and add some, some cool visual elements to your design. So if you're happy, once you're happy with that, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And from here, you can change the color of the sphere to pretty much anything you want. 
right? And if you if you wanted to make it, uh, you know, black, you can make it black. If you want to make it pink, you know, make it pink. All right, and there is a little bit of a weird kind of line cutting through that there, so I'm glad I have another copy. We can kind of try it again and see if we can get it to to line up without uh, messing up what we what we have. So I think part of that is just because of the, the angle that we were that we were at there. It doesn't seem to wrap all the way around completely, um, but that's okay because all you have to do is kind of rotate this and play around until you get you know another angle that doesn't show that that gap there. All right, but you guys kind of see how this works already. Okay, and it's it's pretty cool. I think it's uh, a cool way to leverage some of Illustrator's built-in uh, 3D tools. And you know you could use this if you wanted to create like I don't know a, a Christmas ornament or an Easter egg, I, uh, maybe not even a holiday, just to create some kind of a uh, cool and interesting sphere that you want to add as a design element. So let's try our other um, let's try our other option here too and see what we can do uh, with our first symbol. All right, this one. I think this one will fill up our, our sphere a little bit better just because it's a little larger. Um, but the same principle applies. You know, you want to create enough variation so that you don't have the same uh, symbol or pattern wrapped on every shape. And, you know, the cool thing is that you can just kind of resize these while holding the shift key. And, you know, you can rotate them, create more variation. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, you can rotate them, but if you want to rotate them without causing that to happen, you could probably expand the appearance first, right, and then rotate it. Just so that you can get, you know, some different, play around with the scale a little bit, maybe rotate it or, um, you know, reflect it, just so you don't end up with a bunch of the same uh, shapes that are going to look a little bit uh, kind of repetitive, right? And now you can kind of see what's happening here. I'm kind of overlapping some of these. and. And as I, you know, if you resize these without expanding them, it's going to change the appearance of the pattern uh, that's wrapped around them. See, now I don't have that kind of slice cutting through anymore. All right, so that's kind of a cool way to use some of the built-in uh, 3D tools in Illustrator. And you can create as many different uh, patterns as you want for something like this. Now, let's say I took this shape and then I, you know, did something funky with it like that. You can get a lot of different variations in the, the shapes themselves, whether you want like a, a cone or just a ring. Um, you know, just by transforming that shape, you'll get some pretty interesting results. And anytime you get something that you want to keep, just remember to come up to Object, Expand Appearance, and then you'll be able to, to rotate it and transform it without uh, modifying the actual base uh, shape itself. Right, so these kind of look like little like bullets or, you know, candy corn or something. I don't know what this is. It'd be like an earbud. It's just kind of like these cool abstract shapes, you know, that are fun to play around with. Um, and there's a lot more that you can do with Illustrator's 3D tools that um, I, I'm still kind of uh, experimenting with a bit myself, but it's great for uh, for type and also for things like this if you want to create just some cool, um, interesting shapes in Illustrator. So I just wanted to show you guys that quick tip um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If so, uh, please give us a thumbs up, um, like, and feel free to leave any comments or questions you have below. And uh, also go ahead and sign up for our email list. Right now we're doing our Design Better Contest, which will give you guys the chance to ask me any design-related questions and helping you with personalized tips on any of your projects that you may feel stuck on. Head on over. I'll put a link for that below. It's the Design Better Contest. And uh, sign up now and let me know how I can help you guys out.